So today's video is going to be a little bit more of a simple video. I'm just going to show you how to catch largemouth bass on a lipless crankbait. Lava Truce color 70X by 6 cents. I'm calling it. Three bass today on this lipless crankbait. So this one, just a nice medium velocity crank. And so that lipless crankbait is just swimming right in the middle of that water column. The rattling is hopefully enticing any bass in the area to bite this lure. Five minutes later. Good velocity. There it is. Good velocity with the reel. I'm close, closer to the shore because this bass is fighting me pretty good. Wow, this bass is a pretty good one. Look at that. There you go. Wow. Wow, there's a lot of trash here at the at this certain part of the San Diego River. But this guy was caught on the lipless crankbait. I had to get pliers for this one. Always good to get pliers. Man, these hooks are pretty sharp. There you go. It's going to wet my hands a little bit before measuring. What do you think this bass is in length? Good healthy tail. I think this guy is going to be like 19 inches, maybe 18 inches or so. He's around 19 inches. See you, buddy. <laughs> That was the first bass. This uh, FYI, my 19 right here obviously got broken. Pretty cheap plastic. I'm thinking about getting a working class hog trough. Let's go ahead and catch another one. When I'm doing a constant retrieval, is this doing that in the water column. And then when I do a rod twitch, that's fluttering it up and then it goes back to the constant rattle. So some people like doing like erratic motions with the rod like that. Sometimes that works as well. Oh, and, and that time it does work. Look at that. I got a bass on that technique where I was just doing a nice erratic rod twitches. Ooh. Ooh, this one's a nice one too. Oh, not as nice, but still a nice bass. There you go. This nice little 12 inch bass couldn't help himself. <laughs> couldn't help himself with biting this lure. That's two bass on two different techniques. So the first action was just a nice crank, nice constant crank. And then the second one was a nice erratic motion to the right. That's fluttering that crankbait again like that. And the third technique I like doing, of course you have to cast your crankbait out there, is reeling the slack in and then rod tip up. One sweep up towards the sky. Reel in the slack, rod tip up. Reel in the slack, rod tip up. What it's actually doing is it's swimming along the, the water column and then as soon as I have the rod tip up, it's fluttering up and then it's going back to the depth where it likes to be when you're reeling in the slack. Let's see if we can get a bass on that technique. Two hours later. Let's try to get a bass so this technique makes sense. Reel in the slack, rod tip up, reel in the slack, there you go, and rod tip up. Oh, there you go. Got my third fish on the third technique. Oh no, it came off. No, it came off, dang it. All right, let's do that again. I'm not gonna quit until I catch a bass for you guys on this technique. What I like about making these YouTube videos is the teaching aspect. Man, that felt like a nice one too. My rod was pretty bendo. Oh my gosh. So dirty here. What is this? Right there, that's the cast. Reel in the slack, rod tip up. Reel in the slack, rod tip up. There it is. There you go. Reel in the slack, rod tip up. Towards the sky method. The third technique. And I finally got my third bass to bite. Took a little time. Ooh, it's a nice one, guys. It's pulling. Oh, it's a nice one, guys. It's a nice one. Look at that. Oh, he's on one trouble. He's on one trouble. Oh, hold up. Very nice. Look at that. Third bass, red lips, meaning he wants a crawfish. Look at that. Look at that. Let's measure. She's about 18 inches right there. Look at that. But nice, nice good old bass. Bit on that lipless crankbait. Bye. And so that flutter action, the action of this crankbait is going up towards the surface and then down. 
up towards the surface and down. So if there's any bass in the area, I think that bass actually bit right when that crawfish was coming down. Let's cast over there. And I actually like using my whole body. If you notice my body right here, I'm actually twisting my whole body versus just using my, my arms. If you just use your arms, you're gonna get tired real quick. I like rotating the body as well as, oh, got a bass, got a bass. So like I said, I like rotating the body because it saves a lot of energy so you can last longer fishing. Oh my, wow, that's a huge bass. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, that's a big bass. Oh, wait, wait, don't leave. Oh my god, dude, yeah, guys, oh, what did you, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, guys, I actually think I caught my personal bass. Cause look at that bass, dude, that's huge. One treble, guys, one treble. Oh, oh, he bent the hook. On these sharp, strong hooks, he bent the hook. Look at that guy. Look how big that guy is. Healthy fin. Let me wet my hands for you, girl. Oh, big old, big old belly. Wow, I think this is a five pounder, guys. Of course, I don't have my weigh, my scale, but I do have my hog trough with the 19 inch missing. So what length do you guys think this guy is? I think this guy is like a 20 incher, by far 20 inches. Wet the scale. Close the mouth, 20 inches. I'm gonna admire her a little bit, take some pictures, and let this girl go. Let's go. There you go, guys. Big old monster bass. Look at that. Big old monster bass. I think this, I think this girl is five pounds. I'm gonna go ahead and let her go. And there she goes. Bye. I was fishing parallel to these Tulis right here in front of you and I was just casting as I was just casting out there and she bit around this area Not another nice bass Wow, that's a nice bass. Look at that. Look at that support its body weight. That one was on the constant retrieval rate There you go. Nice fifth bass of the day. I'm actually gonna call it a day Running out of daylight have a lot a long ways to go. See you buddy. Oh you wet my shoes. If you enjoy these types of videos, please give me a comment below. It motivates me to making more videos just like this. Give me a comment below. Let me know what you guys want me to catch a bass with and I'll try to catch it with that lure. Again, my name is Rodney Marquez and always, always, thanks for watching. See ya. Before leaving, I'm actually gonna some people were fishing here before, so and I saw this braided line. Look at how, look at that. I'm actually gonna clean this.